<laughs> Thank you. Welcome viewers. I'm Kalem Bendile, son of Vasquata. As we celebrate, celebrate the Labor Day, many of you will remember the common saying that uh, any kind of work is work. But uh, would, you, would you let your son, husband, work full time in a graveyard? Katie's Kamiche Menza now brings us the story. Those men who have thrown their, their, their fear out, out of the window and decided to earn a living by working around those who have left. Just like any other working person, Martin Okech gets ready for the day ahead, all in a bid to make hay as the sun shines. A few minutes later, he departs for his place of work. This is where he spends most of his daytime, at the cemetery where the dead rest. But first things first, putting his equipment in place, then he puts on his work garments. His work here is to dig graves and sometimes cementing covered graves. But how did he find himself in this kind of job? His dreams of being a lawyer, he says, died after quitting school due to lack of school fees. Brother Fadangu, alikuwa mochari and cemetery superintendent. Yeye alikuwa nasimamia huku yeah, babangu mdogo. Sasa wakati bado mimi nilikuwa wakati shule imefungwa nilikuwa nikikuja kuomba kibarua na niambia kama kuna kufieka hivyo mm -hmm. ninakuja ninafieka kama pale kwa mochari kuna kupalilia maua naenda hapo kwa mochari na palilia maua mm -hmm. eh, sasa hapo ndio nilianza sasa vile nilizidi nikazoea nikazoea ndio sasa mpaka nikaona tu nimeizoea kabisa in a day he digs two graves each taking him between two to three hours then embarks on simple available tasks here he says it's not always that one wakes up to a scheduled task sometimes they spend a day with none but he has never given up the number of graves he has dug uncountable enabling him ache out a living from the dead Kulingana tu vile mapato yake iko sometimes naona ni kama tu inatusaidia sana kwa hii nyumba. He's not alone though. Some like him are just casual laborers while others have been employed. There's a myriad of tasks here including engraving and grooming the graves. The first grave on this graveyard tracing back to 1901. Mwanzoni kwa familia hawakuichukulia ikiwa jambo nzuri. Lakini baada kuona huo mtu anajikimu kimaisha wakaichukulia ni jambo la kawaida wewe anaandika hizi bible mbili kwa siku mhm mm mm -hmm. na hii uko andika hii bible nilipo pesa ngapi hii nalipisha 4000 to 5000 mhm mm inalingana na urefu mimi naweza nataka kaomba naweza omba kazi permanent kutoka kwa county kwa sababu tuna experience tena tuko na experience tumeizoea tunaijua so unakuta ni kazi inaofiwa wale wachache ambao tunapata ni wako kwa kiwango cha chini zaidi kukubaliana na kazi kama hii. Kodho kazi yenyewe ni kazi nzuri. Yaani kazi tu ya kawaida kama zile kazi zingine. Most of us do not visit this place so often simply because of its status of isolation and loneliness, but for 15 years this has been Okechi's place where he earns his daily bread. Kamchemenza KTN at the Nakuru North Cemetery, Nakuru County.